here we are back again another Tuesday going into Walmart hey guys what's going on happy Tuesday as I just mentioned pulling into Walmart it is time to go blu-ray hunting our favorite time of the week to go out to the stores see what is available if there is anything available cross fingers so the big new releases today fantastic beast 3 out of sight on 4k true romance probably not going to see that at best buy but you never know they did have robocop and also firestarter so hitting up the big three today walmart best buy and target let's go out there see what we can find what are we waiting for let's go in the new releases at Walmart, it's all about Fantastic Beasts 3. So starting off on the end over here, we have the three film, three film collection of Fantastic Beasts. So all three of the Fantastic Beasts movies on DVD. Nice little cover for $29.96. Here is the 4K of Fantastic Beasts 3. Okay slip cover, not bad. But they do have this very nice box set. I didn't know I didn't realize Walmart was doing an exclusive box set. Blu-ray only, not 4K. Just let you guys know about that. It's just a case with a pop-up, whatever that means. Blu-ray edition, nice slip cover for $24.96, and then DVD for $19.96. Still have plenty of copies of Nicolas Cage's The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, The Bad Guys, but you can actually stream that on Peacock on Friday. So if you guys don't want to pick it up, you can just wait if you have Peacock. And then Firestarter is here on DVD only. Nice slip cover though. Plenty of copies of Morbius as well with a nice lenticular slipcover. Still debating whether I want to pick that up or not. The Batman on DVD, Infinite Storm, The Contractor, Ambulance, and The Northman. In the middle aisle with the new releases, not really seeing anything too new. The only thing I'm seeing new is Mothering Sunday is a brand new release, but of course it's Walmart, so it's on DVD. I've actually never heard of it, but I'm not going to pick that up. But yeah, pretty much nothing is new here. House of Gucci on sale, King Richard, Turning Red, all the wacky Walmart titles that we've seen down at the bottom, but I'm not seeing any new ones. I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted some more shark ones, but <laughs> there's nothing new. They still have Blood in the Water, Alien Shark, Bull Shark, Land Shark. I have all those at home, all waiting for next month for Shark Month. Spider-Man No Way Home, Ip Man Awakening, Studio 666, all on DVD, of course. Nothing new, nothing new. Okay, well, Walmart is disappointing. As I was getting ready to leave, I noticed the clearance side of the 750 Blu-rays and DVDs. So they do have, again, the Jason Statham six film collection for 750. I picked this up a while ago. They do have The Greatest Showman on Blu-ray for $7.50. This is what caught my eye, Prisoners of the Ghostland on Blu-ray. I know it's not the best film, that's what I've heard, I haven't seen it yet, but $7.50. And then also Tombstone and Expendables 1, 2, and 3. Not that I was expecting a lot out of Walmart this week anyway. They really only had Fantastic Beasts 3 and Firestarter on DVD. Okay, that's all right, but nothing else. No wacky Walmart titles, no other shark movies for me to collect, so we gotta move it on. Let's head on over to Best Buy. Location number two is Best Buy. And the new release is at Best Buy. I'm not seeing any new releases. It's all the same old stuff. They still have The Bridge on the River Kwai Steelbook, The Batman on 4K, The Bad Guys, a couple copies of the Universal Soldier, Lionsgate Steelbook, Yellowstone. Yellowstone has been here forever. Without Remorse, that is on sale for $11.99 right now though. Good to know. Eternals, Venom 2, Sing 2, Scream. We have a couple of the Born Complete Collection box sets on Steelbook. Hmm. Let's go over to the other side. Moonfall, Infinite, Beverly Hills Cop 2, Jurassic's, No Way Home, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah, there is nothing new in the front. That's not a good sign, but there's always the back section, so let's head on over there. 
in the back with the new releases. I'm not seeing any new releases except they do have Firestarter on Blu-ray. Nice slip cover for $24.99. But that's pretty much it. Everything else is from previous weeks. Morbius, they still do have one steelbook. Raider steelbook from a couple weeks ago. Turning Red, Bad Guys, Cinderella, Happy Death Day, The Contractor, Jungle Cruise, Candyman on 4K still here. So we got some Batman still. Releases from last week. Robocop down at the bottom, Jack Reacher. Wow, they still have Alligator. What am I picking up today? Maybe this is the day I get Life Force. There's one copy left. Maybe today is the day that Susan picks up Life Force. But man, what is going on? Infinite Storm, Gold, The Northmen, The Craft. But other than that, no new releases. I'm just really surprised. However, it's not that big of a new release day, so I shouldn't be that surprised. But I figure they would have Fantastic Beasts out. It's probably in the back, but I'm not picking it up anyway, so... I guess we'll just leave it in the back, but I guess I will just look around and see what I could find that's worthy of picking up today. Well, that was the definition of uneventful. No brand new releases at Best Buy out except for Firestarter. Who is lining up for Firestarter? Certainly not myself. Walking into Best Buy, not seeing any brand new releases out just kills my soul. They did not have Fantastic Beast 3 out on the floor. They probably have it in the back, but to be honest, I'm not picking up that title anyway. So I wasn't gonna ask an employee to go and check. That's just a waste of time for me and also for them. Firestarter was there, two copies of that only. No true romance, although I was not expecting to find that copy out in stores. Most likely it's either a Barnes & Noble or an online order exclusive only. Out of sight on 4K, where is that? I was kind of hoping that was gonna be in Best Buy to show off, but it wasn't there either. So most likely you're gonna probably have to order that online as well. I don't know. I'm feeling that th like this whole Blu-ray trip is turning into an epic failure, but we have one more stop to go to. As always, we're ending with the Target. Last stop of the day is always the Target. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. In the new releases at Target, here we have Fantastic Beast 3. So here is the 4K with the nice slipcover that we saw at Walmart. Here is the Target exclusive. It comes with a journal, regular Blu-ray. Here is also the three film Fantastic Beast collection on Blu-ray because Walmart only had it on DVD. So if you want all three, then you're gonna have to come to Target. $39.99 with a nice slipcover. They still have plenty of copies of Cinderella for $22.99. And also the bad guys, they still have the unbearable way of massive talent after Yang on Blu-ray. However, online it's currently $13. So if you're interested in that, you might wanna go pick it up over there. And of course, Morbius at the bottom. On the back side of the new releases in Target, they moved out new releases and they put in collections. So if you're looking for collections, you might want to come to Target. So they have Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, Lord of the Rings, Godfather, Fast and Furious, Mission Impossible. They do have the Lethal Weapon collection on DVD. Is that for 50 bucks? No, that's Downton Abbey. I was going to say <laughs> DVD collection for 50 bucks. They have the four Batman movies for 10 bucks. Okay, there's Lethal Weapon, $9.99, much better. They do have the Oceans movies. Again, massive talent. They have, it looks like Johnny Depp, a couple Johnny Depps, Pee Wee's, Big Adventure, and Beetlejuice. Another collection of sports movies, Sex in the City. And then they do have all of the Avengers films, Captain America, Thor, and Guardians, Mad Max, Godzilla movies, and also the Fifty Shades of Grey on Blu-ray. Back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got when I went out today. And just to let you know, it was not a lot. I picked up one item when I was out and no, it was not Firestarter. I did not pick up Firestarter. I've heard the movie is bad from several people. And if I do want to watch it, it is on Peacock and I do have Peacock so I could always watch it over there. So the one item that I picked up at Best Buy is one that I have been thinking about it came out about a month or so ago, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it. So I thought today was the perfect opportunity because with a lack of releases that I do want, 
I might as well pick up Life Force. I think you guys already got the idea that I was going in this direction, that I was going to pick up Life Force. I was like, do I get it? Do I not? Do I get it? Yeah, why not pick it up? Because the other new releases, I did get one already that I'm going to show you in a second. And I'm waiting on the out of sight 4K. I did pre-order that through Blu-ray.com, through Amazon, and it hasn't even shipped yet. So I'm kind of getting nervous about that one. I don't really know what's happening, but Best Buy, I went with Life Force. There was one copy left and I snagged it. Why not? Might as well just pick it up. Bite the bullet. And then the other brand new release that was not available in store, but I got yesterday in the mail, the True Romance Steelbook from Arrow. This looks amazing. I absolutely love it. And I mentioned this before in a prior video that I kind of had a little bit of buying regret because I really enjoyed the Arrow box sets and I kind of wished I got the box set instead. So I double dipped. I double dipped. So soon I'm going to be getting the regular 4K Arrow box set of True Romance. So I'm going to have two copies of True Romance. So that is everything that I ended up getting today, either out in the store or online that showed up on my doorstep. But the big question is, what did you find when you went out today? Did you find Fantastic Beasts? Anything brand new besides Firestarter? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.